monkey hurt you can read that immigrant slaves you can read that also bin bag cotton picker downhearted disappointed blackie shocked fake hair disappointed gorilla distressed you wonder what i'm referring to racism all those words up there are what people get called and how they feel towards racism racism is when a person is treated worse excluded disadvantaged harassed bullied humiliated or degraded because of their race or or ethnicity you can experience racism in many situations such as school workplace on the street doing football and many other situations. Here is a video of my brother talking about racism and how he felt. Huge problem for the game. Five times in seven months while playing for club and country, teenager Rian Brewster was abused for the colour of his skin. Little action was taken. At the time nothing really really happened, I think. The spots I must go with the fans, they got 500 seats, I said, which they didn't even sit in anyway. There was a player that was banned for four games, five games, and all the other times, uh, not enough evidence, to be honest. No one heard, it was just me, so my word against his, wanted to, to hurt them. But now I think I probably want to hurt them in other ways, probably want to score, score, shove it in the face. You're a clown, you're stupid. Obviously, you're not better than me at football, that's why you're. That's why you have to do something like that. What should they be doing, as opposed to closing 500 seats or banning a player for a few games? Keep the team out of the, the competition. Just nothing else. Make the fines at four million, five million pounds, where they go, whoa, this is serious stuff now. We can't allow these people in our stadiums. Are you ready to walk off a football pitch if you have to? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll walk off a pitch if, if, I, if the team's behind me. It should be, not the players, looking to walk off the pitch. It should be the manager or the chairman of a club saying this is enough, enough's enough. I'm getting my players off. But so the origins of racism. Slavery. As we all know, slavery happened in the Western areas. America was a massive power and they had large influence on slavery. Others adopted their word, uh, the view such as the Jim Crow laws which helped segregation. Black people had to drink from different fountains. They wasn't allowed to sit on the same benches, they had to sit at the back of the pubs, and they really got undervalued. As we all know, slavery was widespread in the ancient world, and in the Rimwash generation. So in the Rimwash generation, people were called over from black countries to aid for the economy um, after the war. And they were given no passports, but they told they'd have a lifetime here. And as we all know now, they're trying to revoke their citizenship. And this is all they've known. They've built this country, and now they're being deported back to their countries. This shows that they disregard the disregard and willingness of the ethnic minorities and how they're undervalued and not appreciated by other people. Now in modern day society, we can see racism in loads of different areas such as Black Lives Matter, poverty. Here's some statistics of racism in modern day society now. 13.2% of Americans are black, but make up 23.8% of the poverty population. And that is just disgusting in itself. In the workplace, unemployment rates, so there's 12.9% for ethnic minorities compared to 6.3% for white people, which is double, which is appalling. Also, in Britain, black workers with degrees are 23.1% less on average than white workers, which clearly shows racism in today's society. We're now going to end with a prayer. Oh, no, sorry. Ways you can contribute to racism um, by helping out, obviously, because it's a big thing that still happens today. You can raise awareness, call out your friends, educate yourself, and your dark humour is really not funny, so... Please, could you stop that? I'm not aiming it at anyone, but it does happen. So now we will be ending with a prayer. 
We all must bring our races into an end, a message to all I long to send. The colours of the world all join as one, for the Lord is our shepherd and we are his son. Christ made all man in the likes of him, so please let's all end racism.